What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be taking you through the brand new in-game Steam overlay. As far as I understand, the brand new UI has come out of beta and now it's available to the public whenever you restart your Steam client. So what exactly is this new overlay? Well, instead of having your friends list and things like that, at the very bottom of our screen here, we have different options. We'll be running through all of these here and telling you about them. The first is Game Overview on the far left. This opens up a small window that tells you about your playtime, friends in game, friends who've played screenshots, guides, recent news, players, and it's a general hub for things around the game that you're currently playing. Most of these you'll see pop up later. If we click the second one, it's Achievements, and it tells you about your current progress on achievements, your overall progress, etc. And you can see what kind of players worldwide have the achievements that you have, etc. Then the third tab is Notes. Now this is something that's brand new with this new update and it's actually pretty interesting. Any notes that you take here, such as hello or whatever, is saved in the Steam Cloud. So whenever you close this window and reopen it, you'll have your notes here saved for you, whether it's codes that you find in game and things like that, different map locations, etc. And the best part about it is that it's synced with the Steam Cloud. So if you play on the Steam Deck or different devices for that matter, you'll find your notes for whatever game on the Steam Cloud as well. Just do note that whatever you write here, you'll only see while you're in game. You can use text formatting and clicking the drop down, we get even more formatting adding. It's pretty simple markdown type styling, but it's actually really useful if you're playing a game that you need to take notes for. Then we have guides, which will bring up the game guides discussion for whatever game you're currently playing on the Steam. The discussion section is the forum side of whatever game you're currently playing, also on Steam. Then Steam Workshop obviously brings up the workshop for whatever game you're currently playing, followed by screenshots, which is, as you guessed it, screenshots of the game that you're currently playing. From here, you can upload them by captioning them, changing visibility, uploading, etc. This is pretty useful as before, I'm pretty sure you needed to check your screenshots in the actual Steam client rather than in your overlay. Then the friends section is obviously the current friends that you have in game and around the place. You can open up chat windows as per usual, followed by web browser, which has actually been updated to be a heck of a lot better than the previous Steam browser. So at least performance should be much better while you're browsing here, multiple tabs, and it even remembers what tabs you have open whenever you open up a new game. Pretty useful. Followed by the controller settings section, which will only really help you if you're using Steam input or using a controller with a specific game. Mine, of course, is empty here, but it's nice to be able to remap your buttons on the fly through the in-game overlay. Finally, settings over here pulls up the normal settings for the game that you're currently in. Just do know that you can disable the Steam overlay while in-game, and if you turn this off, it might vanish. You'll need to re-enable this from the actual Steam client by right-clicking on your game and choosing Properties. You can also customize interface, friends and chat, voice, music, and finally, broadcast. Most of these are pretty standard settings that you can change, nothing out of the ordinary except for in-game. Maybe you'll want to change your browser homepage. The FPS counter is now visible here, etc, etc. Finally, we have a minimize windows button, which is only really useful when you have a bunch of windows open. You can click this button and just like that, everything is minimized. You can restore them at any time by clicking the same button, which now turns into an up arrow rather than a down arrow. Not to mention, while you're playing a Valve games such as Counter-Strike, hit shift tab, you'll see what game server you're connected to in the top right of the Steam overlay. Currently I'm connecting to a Johannesburg server with one to two milliseconds ping, and it says my IP address is protected. Hovering over it, no Steam networking connections have shared your IP address, other networking features may reveal your IP, click here to read more. This is great, especially for streamers and people who need to look after their profile and IP address, etc. By leaking your IP, you open yourself up to DDoS attacks and things like that. So it's great that you get live information on whether you're protected or not. Not to mention, if we open the notes feature, for example, type something in here and click the pin button in the top right. When we close shift tab, wherever the window is open, it'll remain on our screen. Obviously, this can be quite a bit annoying. When you get the right place to pin it, it should work pretty well. Obviously, if you're opening this up for the first time, you're not gonna know what is what. So hopefully I've managed to break it down for you quite simply. It's really not that difficult, but the new features are actually pretty exciting. It's nice to have a refresh to something as simple as the in-game Steam overlay. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. So thank you 
you all for watching. My name is Chocolate Shoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.